Good morning. Thanks so much for coming out so early and for meeting me up here in the park because it's a nice muggy morning and uh, I'm sure it's going to rain soon. So, thanks for coming out before breakfast. Last night, at the end of the ceremony, we were talking about psychosomatic medicine. We were talking about the kind of healing that we do here at, at Refugiati Plano with the ayahuasca, with the herbal medicine, and with the counseling, and with the spiritual healing, particularly the shamanic spiritual healing that we do in the ceremonies and that we do afterwards. Now, it's very, very important to realize we have a different model of the human spirit, the human soul, and the human body. We don't view it as a mechanical instrument. When something goes wrong with your body or with your mind, when you get depressed or when you develop a cancer, a tumor, or an imbalance in the way you move, in the way you talk, in the way you look, we believe that it's a problem with the soul. It's a problem with the spirit, first of all. Because we cannot just cut a tumor out and expect the life to get better. You do have to cut the tumor out, but what you want to do is you want to repair the cause. You want to repair what brought it on. Now what brought it on is internalizing stress, being angry at your environment, being out of tune with your peer group, being out of tune with your lifestyle, with your activities, so that you are basically off balance, unhappy, and dissatisfied. Now, when somebody's like that, they are inevitably going to develop a depression. They're going to develop a feeling of disconnectedness with their environment. And they're going to eventually develop something, what we would call a psychosomatic aberration something that comes into the body and throws it off balance because it's trying to adjust itself to a dysfunctional environment. Now, that's looking at us as a very, very complex, very ornate piece of magic. The body is a very, very beautiful combination with the mind to live completely, fully, joyfully, and to have a connection and and assimilation with your environment. Whether that be a city, a beautiful city, or a beautiful forest, or whether it's a pretty little town somewhere where you smile at the people when you walk out on your porch in the morning. Now, we do psychosomatic healing here. My main alley as a successful psychosomatic healer is the ayahuasca medicine. The ayahuasca brings the sacred plant, to this sacred plant it brings a sacred medicine, it brings a sacrament to help us put ourselves back in balance, back in tune with our souls, with ourselves, and with our future plans and with our future aspirations and goals, so that we can start living the life that we always aspired to, without feeling grumpy, without feeling angry and without feeling as if we're somehow in the wrong place all the time and then the wrong state of mind. We want to feel at home in our bodies. We want to feel at home in our backyards and our front yards and we want to feel at home with our friends and with our acquaintances and we want to feel at home in our workplace as well so that we're acting 100% authentically as ourselves. Now the ayahuasca can bring you back to that place that you aspired to be at and that you lost. And that began to make you sick and uncomfortable and began to make divisions between you and your friends, you and your environment, and spe specifically between your mind, your soul, and your physical body. We want all of those to work together as a joyful unit. And that's what you are all doing here tonight and last night in the ayahuasca ceremonies. And that is why the healing that we do here stays with you. In other words, it's a profound adjustment that goes right down to the bottom of your heart and soul, body and immune system, and keeps you healthy. 
after the adjustment has been made. Liberates you from having to run to a practitioner or run to a pharmacist. Liberates you from constantly feeling as if something's going to go wrong because you know that everything's in balance and working together. Now, I've seen enormous changes in those of you who have been here for 10, 12 days already. And it's very inspiring for me to see how quickly and profoundly the shamanic medicine works on people who are receptive to it and people who are giving it their full attention and that are really absorbing it and treating it like the conduit that they've been looking for all their lives. And a lot of you who came in depressed are now no longer depressed because you see that there's a lot of hope in front of you and that the solution has just been shown to you. And the solution is right inside of you. The solution has to be unlocked by the sacrament of the ayahuasca and by the guidance and by the instruction and often by the herbal medicine that we give you alongside of the ayahuasca medicine, the ceremonial therapy. Now tonight we're going to do another ceremony and I'm really looking forward to it because with the amount of advancement that you made in the last three ceremonies, I really anticipate a very powerful, profound penetration with the medicine tonight and I look forward to it. So enjoy your day. I think some of you are going to take it take a kayaking run and some of you are going to walk back into the rainforest and some of you are going to stay here and shoot some arrows with us and some of you are just going to swing in your hammocks and read. So make yourself at home, you're at Rufu Healthy Plano and I'm sure we're going to have a beautiful restful day and tonight we'll have a great ceremony. So thanks for coming out so early, I'll see you later tonight. <laughs> Looking good, huh? It looks great. It's really, really catching on. All these guys are just holding. They are. And all this ayahuasca is, is growing fast, too. Look at this. The, do you see that little blue one over there? Yeah. Uh -huh. That's incredible. It's like... That's orange. Yeah. Wow. I think you were like...
<laughs> Look at those blossoms in it. The, the little red blossoms in this. Mm. Oh yeah. Wow. Incredible. That's good. Well done. Yeah. So, you see how those plants are the ones that you put on the balcony? Uh-huh. Mm Look at how lively this one is. This tree has got all those, all oh, those parasite. parasite yeah. plants. Look at the whole color. Amazing. That is. And look at the, look at this little guy. Look at the brightness on that one. The blue. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is one spectacular garden. Yeah. Fantastic. This has come, come, it's come into its zone so fast with all this rain. Oh, yeah. Incredible. Yeah, it's, it's extremely dangerous to be anywhere within a block of my, my machine. <laughs> <laughs> don't shoot Rachel. <laughs> yeah, right. right. I mean, see, so you can as long as you're you're comfortably behind me. You should you should be. Okay. <laughs> I think your chances of getting you know permanently maimed are probably fairly slim. Uh, well, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> uh, th this is a 60 pound pole bow, so it's a, uh, th and this is more of a, a beginner bow, you know, and so, uh, we've got, we've got 35 pole, 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 60 pound. Yeah. Yeah, we got about six bows, 
think you can pay most if you want practice for it. Yeah, I've got shit eyesight though. Does that matter? No. no, it doesn't matter at all. You don't need good eyesight. You just make sure that everybody's standing behind you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's really true. yeah, well, let's go on and up and we can, okay. we can talk up on the balcony. Should I bring you? Yeah. Headlights? Thank you.